for the UWC Championship. Oh, I definitely got to be on my game to call this match. <laughs> it's going to be everywhere. It is. It is. No disqualifications. Falls count anywhere. They could be outside. They could be, you know, out in the crowd. They could be in the locker room. It's they definitely a good thing I drank those three cans of surge. Yes. We surged it up before. Oh, yeah. I mean, it could even end up in the, the bathroom for all we know. I mean, no swirlies I want to see, but you never know nowadays. But in all seriousness, you know, Jimmy Carrot has been on this little path to try to, you know, derail Harker Durge as champion, even trying to get in the head of Jason V to do it. Well, it, he didn't get the job done, so Jimmy Carrot basically said, you want something done, you do it yourself. And that's why we have it tonight. However, he has a tall task against the current champion. Hello, Mr. Johnstone. Welcome back. Thank you very much. Front face lock applied, going for a vertical suplex of sorts. Exactly what it is, but he held on. The Dr. Nick, you know, uh, this being a, a false count anywhere, said this could end up at the subway. Oh, there's no doubt about it. It could very well end up there. Well, if it does, we're going down there because I need a sandwich anyway. I, I love, I love the, the, the get up that Harker Dirge came out in, the Freddy Krueger, you know. Harker's the man of your dreams. Exactly, and when when you're a kid, and that you know that image of Freddy Krueger gets in your head, it literally scares the you know what out of you. So maybe that's what he's trying to do. Maybe he's trying to get into the head of Jimmy Carrot. Oh, there's nobody in this company that's better at playing mind games than Harker Dirge. He knows how to get under your skin and get inside your head just before the big match happens to give him that advantage. Absolutely, absolutely. This is definitely a perfect match for both of these guys because both of them are unpredictable. They're both brawlers. I'd say let them go at it. Well, go ahead, Mr. Johnson. This is not the first time that these two have faced off for the championship in the last several weeks. It was Sheriff Titty Nashville that made this match possible, that made this match happen. He knew the only way to allow these two to get their feelings out, if you will, and to fight is to take away a disqualification, take away the count outs, and tell them you can pin them anywhere in this town. Well, it, if nobody's mistaken, this is not actually the first Halloween Horrors match in UWC history. Oh, no, it's not. There was one other one, and ironically, Harker Dirge was involved and came out the victor. Exactly. So, Jimmy Carrot needs to watch himself because Harker knows what to do in this type of environment. Harker stumbling around. I guess he's been blinded by that rake to the eyes now. Carrot taking advantage of it on the outside. Choking away, but there's no DQ, so this is completely legal. I definitely don't think we're going to see a lot of wrestling in this match. No, oh, no, definitely. This is a fight. Three and three. It, it, you, you hit the nail right on the head when you said it's a fight. These two men, they know head each bust other head bust them. so well. And Parker is normally the one guy that, you know, wants to get in there and wrestle. See who's the best wrestler. But tonight, I think he's just wanting to literally beat that. Jimmy Carroll. I think he's going to hit him with the left and hit him with the right because it's a fight. It's a fight. You're a poet and you didn't know. I think with this match, it's not necessarily that Jimmy Carrot wants to win the match. He wants to basically end Harker Durga's career. Exactly. Well, Jimmy Carrot's had this obsession over the UWC Championship ever since he lost it just a couple years ago. And He's always said that he's going to climb that mountain and get back on top. But he's always been using other people to try to do his dirty work. Well, now he's on his own, and he may be more dangerous than ever. Jimmy Carrot and just in it. Oh, nice bulldog there. And even if Harker Dennis does manage to retain the title, what type of shape are either one of these guys going to be at the end of this match? Jimmy Carrot in an interview a few days ago, which you saw on EWC Initiate, stated that he's tired of somebody like Harker Dirge, who's a veteran of this business, been in it for 18 plus years. He feels that guys like him just walk into a company and are immediately handed everything on a silver platter. That's where the root of this hatred between himself and Harker Dirge comes from. I think it goes a little bit deeper than that, which you were touching on, Sean, about being wanting that title back because back when he was champion in his seven-month reign, he was completely different than the one that we see now. Oh, uh, absolutely. I mean, we this Jimmy Carrot is so manipulative and... Uh-oh, watch out! Oh. Knee breaker on the outside! Uh, you know, I, I know Jimmy Carrot very well, obviously, and he, he's 
he was dangerous then, but he's even more unstable now than he was back a year ago. Well, perfect example of being unstable is the words that he said in the ring last week were basically said he was going to beat Harper Dirt so uh -oh. badly. Uh-oh, look at this. He, he just ripped... I'm sorry, Dr. Nick, oh, but he okay. ripped a camera from a fan. Oh! Oh, my! Oh my. He just broke the camera from a fan. Security, get in there. I... What in the world? We don't endorse fans getting involved in the action here. Harker, take him out. He just shattered that person's camera. I, I, never... I, I don't condone that at all. Oh, my God. No, not at all. That's ridiculous. We apologize to that, that fan. You know, uh, we can't apologize enough for that. We do not condone that at all. No, that was all Jimmy Carrot. We've got it on video documentation, too. Well, like you said, the unstableness of Jimmy Carrot, the words he used. Oh! To beat him so badly that Harker Dirge did not want to be UWC champion anymore. Harker Dirge going for a pin after smacking Carrot's head. Take the belt. Only got a two count. I, I, I'm still at a loss for words what we just seen. I, that, that's just that's going above and beyond what you're supposed to. Be oh, exactly. And we're gonna have to get somebody down there to talk to her at some point. But that was just disgusting. Uh oh, what's Harker got? He's choking Jimmy Carrot out. Oh, he's doing it right in front of her, too. Oh, exactly. How fitting is that? Oh, she is fired up, too. She's loving what Parker Durden is doing. It doesn't make up for the fact that he smashed her camera, but this definitely is sort of a, you know, a good treat for her. Oh, you know, exactly. You know, we always condone fans to bring their cameras, take their pictures and stuff, but, like, you know, someone like Jimmy Carrot, it makes you not want to do that. It makes you not want to sit there and enjoy it, but... Hopefully Harker, you know, takes care of business and that, yet, that young lady right there, you know, will get some kind of vengeance. Speaking of fans, ooh, chair to the midsection. Fans need to be moving out of the way and watching out. This fight spilling to the outside in the crowd. Anything can be used, chairs, ladders, anything in the environment. Up, where are they heading up? They're heading. Oh, they're heading oh. over to the merchandise tables. Like they said, if they come near your path, folks, get out of the way. Parker is all offense right now, just taking care of the run. Wait a second. Abdominal stretch in this type of match. Holy crap, a wrestling hold. Dr. Nick, you were just proved wrong right there. Yes, I was. <laughs> Abdominal stretch on the floor. Harper Dirt this part. He's wearing him down. In the merchandise area. This this is not good. Well, Jimmy Carrot just hit tossed him off, and Harker Dirt hit nothing but floor. I don't want to say it, but it looked like a desperation move by Jimmy Carrot almost. Well, it, even if Jimmy Carrot would have gotten to a rope or something, there is no rope for him. Oh no. Oh boy. He pulls that table out of the way. Wait a second. Jason Voorhees himself. <laughs> you better watch out for that machete. Man, J Jason Voorhees oh, got a, a bird's eye view of that. Oh, exactly. He's got some type of moving cart. Moving cart. That's what they brought the chairs in in. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. Oh. Incoming. Oh! Oh, the dude slammed Jimmy Carrot on the cart. And he kicked Jason on the way down. You don't do that. Jason Voorhees, this wow, is Friday the 13th, but he's getting a lot of action over this there. This match is getting brutal. That was the wrong Jason V to get his butt kicked here tonight. Oh, oh. I see what he did there. Wait a oh, second, God. incoming! Oh! oh! Somebody better check on Jimmy Carroll. This crowd is going nuts. Driven like a lawn dart into the steps, I believe. Uh-oh, oh, they're heading up here. They're up. heading up our way. Oh, great. This is what I wanted. John Stone, grab all the candy and let's hot pitch it out of here. I already grabbed the candy. No wonder I couldn't find it. That's anymore. right. Up here in the stands. I got a car whip for me outside if I need to get out of here. Dr. Nick, if they come over here, you might need a doctor. And they are, too. They're heading this way. Oh, no. And UWC, you never know how close to the action you might get. Jimmy Carrick stopped to take a drink of something. I don't know, that was a fan's drink, I believe. Oh! Oh, oh no. Oh, 
no. Oh, no. oh boy. Step back. Step back. Step back. No. Oh, come on. Oh, no. He... I think he wants to throw him over the rail. That's, no. Come on, Kurt. Come on, you can only go so far. Oh, no. Got it. Oh! Right in the commentary booth. I didn't sign up for 3D wrestling. What is this? Go! They are literally in our laps, folks. No, 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 no. Oh! Oh my God! Get this chair out of my way. He's got a trash can. Oh gosh. Oh! oh my I almost got attacked by Dr. Jimmy Carrot. You literally almost got taken out with a door. Oh, that, that, that was too much. I didn't want that. I, I take my job seriously, and I'll, I'll definitely get in the action if I have to, but that was a little too close. This, this is everywhere. This is literally what you call a false count anywhere match. Oh, Jimmy Carrot almost fell down the stairs. I think we better have an ambulance on call for this. We apologize. We can't really see the action right now because of all the fans. We will try to stay with it as much as we can. So many people here that are following these two. can't see the action that's going on, but they, I think one of them just went down the steps. Did someone just go down? I think so. I think it was Jimmy Carrot, because Harper Burns is still standing. Good assumption there. You're welcome. Something's going on. They're over by the front entrance. The fans are cheering for them to go to the parking lot. Oh, geez, no, my, my new vehicle's out there. You need your bicycle? I guess. I'm gonna need one if they get out there. They're fighting by the ticket takers. They're out there by the front entrance. I... This crowd is literally wanting them to go to the parking lot. I can't go get over this. I can't believe this. I... Somebody just went into the chair the table. Just had a whistle. Only a two count. I heard Mike Underwood scream two count. Oh, uh, they're bringing it back to the ring, it looks like. Just a sea of fans, you know, following this action. They love what they're seeing right now. Look at Harker. Look at his back. Oh, Harker's... Jimmy Carrot's back. Oh, my gosh. Both of these guys are definitely going to be worse for wear after this. Harker is bleeding on his back from some lacerations. And... That's the type of thing Jimmy Carr can do. He can just, he can take the beating of a lifetime, but one move will lay you out. That's the type of the move that can cause some serious brain damage. Irish ripping to the ropes. Harker reverses out of it. Ducks out of the back elbow. Sleeper. We've seen this move in capacity in many opponents. The oh! The crowd is still chanting. Atomic drop. Northern Light suplex into a pin attempt. This, this has been an amazing main event so far. The crowd loves it. What a way to end season two of UWC here at Now or Never. Both men are down and for good right. You can't get over this so far. I think a little bit earlier, that was a little bit too close yeah. to comfort. Oh! Johnstone, you almost tripped over a chair. Dr. Yeah. Nick, you almost got ran over by a door. I didn't sign up for that tonight. <laughs> what? I've that had many doors shoved in my face, but it's usually by women. Yeah, true story. Jimmy Kerr is standing tall over the current champion. He wants that title. Well, I guess what we seen a little while ago, that's the whole, you know, point of a false count anywhere match. It can go anywhere. How ironic is it that the one thing these men are both fighting over is actually lying in the corner of the ring right now. Absolutely. Oh! Nice exploding clothesline. 
line. This crowd loves it. I think this obsession that Jimmy Carrot has with the UWC Championship is way beyond unhealthy. Absolutely. I'm just going to call it like I see it. The UWC Championship is the ring, and Jimmy Carrot is Gollum right now. That's his precious. Are we going for a slingshot? Oh, no. And the referee is in. Wait a minute. Watch it. Oh! Underwood Underwood is down. No referee here to count the pin. Harker, there's his move. But there's no, but there's no one to count the pin. I could have counted Wait a minute. 20. Sean Rife. Looks like Sean Rife making his way out to the ring. Top fitting is this. Sean Rife. Wait a minute. Pin attempt here. Only a two count. How fitting is this? Sean Reif has not officiated a Jimmy Carrot match ever since the I Quit match, and he took a kendo stick shot to the forehead. We all remember that. That was brutal. Well, that shows the professionalism of Sean Reif right there. I can understand the uncomfortability he may have, but like you said, this man's a professional. Wait. Steel chairs oh. coming into play. We got dueling steel chairs. Oh, no. Oh. with that lacerated back. Oh, my. Oh, what? Sean Reif says no. Reif taking the chair away. You got to wonder what that's about. There's no disqualification in here. Uh, oh, Arthur Durge. He's got the steel chair. Take it back. Oh. 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 Dueling chair. Oh. That's broken fingers written all over it. More home runs than the Royals could hit in one season. Body drop. I see what you just did there. Wait a minute. He hit the gold digger. Gold digger. That's why it could have it here. Oh my gosh. Arthur Jones kicks out of the gold digger. Shoulder out at two. Jimmy Can't Carrot is it. beyond frustrated at this point. And now he's attacking the referee. We saw what happened last time he got in Sean Rife's face. Rife took a kendo stick shot. Now there's steel chairs in there. I think right in the middle, better just back down. Absolutely, absolutely. Garrett saying it's over. Heading up to the top. What a forward! He misses the Brock Splash! Parker turns moves out of the way. Jimmy Carroll was up in the upper deck, but he did not get anything. Parker knew where he was and moved out of the way. Parker using the ropes to get back to his vertical base. This crowd is just off the hook here tonight at the Battle Zone. They've seen so much action. They're still wanting the parking lot. <laughs> Champion! That was an amazing match!